You've decided to join us, and you brought the precursor stone. Good. The boy will now play his final part. Not this time. Oh, but this child is such a part of this. Such a part of you. Don't you recognize him? The boy is you, Jack. And this place, this is where you began in the future. But how? You were hidden in the past on the hope that you would gain the skills to face me today. But Onan was wrong. Now that you've been altered with Dark Eco, the stone will never open for you. Your younger self, however, still has the pure gift. He alone can awaken the stone and the precursor entity which sleeps inside. This stone is a precursor? The last precursor egg. Ma was clever. He covered his tracks well through time, hiding his last egg from me and building the shield and city to defend it. It has been a long siege, but today I will finally feed on the last precursor life force. Uh, I think you're forgetting one little thing, Metalomaniac. We've got the precursor stone. Not for long!
It is finished. Our ancient enemy is no more. Take hope, brave one. The terrible darkness inside you is now balanced by a glorious light. We will meet again. We haven't much time. I've sent the coordinates back to our village. Let's go home, everyone. Well, we are home. Kira, I'm afraid your Rift Rider must be used to send young Jack here to a place where he will grow up safe from harm. He must become old enough to complete the destiny he has fulfilled today. Wait a minute. It's you. I, I mean, it's me. I have to take him back and watch over him, don't I? Ah, grub roots. Talk about being in the wrong time at the right place. Hey, kid. You take care. Oh, and trust me on this. Stay away from any wumpy nest on your ninth birthday, okay? I sure hope I built this replica right. I don't know if it... It's perfect, Kira. This is the very machine we found, or will find later. What? I just built this. After seeing the first one, I mean. It's based on what I remember from before. Honey, the more you think about it, the more it hurts the head. I'll take good care of the child. And don't worry. I'll be back in time for the celebration. Farewell. Thanks, Amos. Without you... It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. No. I do remember the light. Your transport is ready, milady. Thank you, Captain Bruder. Come on. We'll be late for the party at Daxter's new place. I've got so much work to do. Besides, it's not my thing. Ten Hut! As the new governor of this city, I ordered the commander of the new Crimson Guard to escort me to an official function. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. I mean... You can start rebuilding the city tomorrow. Tonight, we get to celebrate with our new friends. Besides, tough guy, I'm dying to see you dance. Not likely. Welcome to the Naughty Atzel, the hippest, happiest, happiest joint in town. Check out the new decor. Ooh, what a big trophy. As if size matters. I bagged that bad boy myself, baby. Onan says she doesn't know who has a bigger head, him or you. We must not forget Vin and all the others who sacrificed their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. I still can't believe. That little boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid grows up to be a handsome hero. Hey! That's enough for you, lady! I'm cutting you off! Trust me, she gets real mean when she's like this. What'd she say? Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. You don't want to know. Ah! A metalhead! Sig! Sig! I knew that. You're okay. You cherries didn't think some nasty breath giant-sized lizard was gonna keep me from the biggest party in town, did you? I knew you were too tough for him, big guy. You saved the city and more, my boy. Metalcore and his menace are history, and somewhere out there, an ancient race has begun again. I'm just glad to be back home. Yeah, well, rest up. We've got a lot to do, and so much time to do it here. Don't say time. The rift ring was destroyed, remember? You know, my mama used to read bedtime stories about Mar when she tucked me in. She'd give me a nice glass of warm yak cow milk, a little poopsie bear. Bedtime stories? Warm milk? Poopsie bear? Buddy, you just blew your image. I've got a feeling we'll meet Mar someday. He may be closer than you think. You're the designated driver. Oh, no. I am done with adventure. Besides, you'll tell us before something happens next time, right, Samos? Right, Samos? You never know what the future may hold. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Uh, no, we're just uh, guessing. Right, Samos? Hey, tomorrow, only time will tell. No, you're gonna tell right now! Why <laughs> you little Watch your Jack, my boy! The future 